watching Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia, and let's do Colossians chapter 4. Colossians chapter 4. Christian graces and final greetings. I'm not sure what we'll get out of this, but let's see how we go. Masters, give your bond servants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Um, a very manipulative verse, a very religiously manipulative verse. Um, we have a master in heaven, yes we do. But to what extent are we his slaves? I think we need to find a passage here. And if we turn to 2 Corinthians three seventeen, we find, Now the Lord is the Spirit. So that's distinctly like Jesus said, I and the Father are one. Now they're saying that, the, well the Bible's saying that the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now, where's the Spirit of the Lord? The Spirit of the Lord is dwelling in us. So what's our master a master of? Our master is a master of liberty. For where the Lord, now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So it changes everything to a voluntary aspect. It's voluntary, whatever we do for the Lord. Verse 2, continue earnestly in prayer. Prayer is wonderful, isn't it, when you get down to prayer and you're into it and you get that presence of God. Be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Be thankful that you can pray. Meanwhile, praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word. Now, what's the word? The word is that we're saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. To speak the mystery of Christ. What is the mystery of Christ? I just said it, isn't it? Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. For, um, for you are saved by grace through faith and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That's the mystery of Christ. The full appropriation and application of his finished work. Knowing that all our issues for time and eternity are settled between ourselves and God, once and for all, never to be done again. Knowing that the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And Paul says, for which I am in chains. So Paul had obviously upset some people, and he's in jail, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Tychicus, a beloved brother, faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. With one Nisimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice. These are my only fellow workers for the kingdom of God who are of the circumcision. So they're Jews. They have proved to be comfort to me. So they were Jews that understood the message of grace, the good news of the gospel. Epaphras, who is one of you, a bond servant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has a great zeal for you, and those who are in Laodicea and those who are in Heropolis. Luke, the beloved physician, guess who Luke, the beloved physician, is? The writer of the book of Acts and the Gospel of Luke. And Demas greets you. Demas, remember Demas? Demas has forsaken me because he loved this present age in Second Timothy or 1 Timothy. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and Nymphus and the church that is in his house. Now when the epistle is read among you, See that it is read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that you likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. 
and say to Archippus to heed the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. This salutation by my own hand, Paul. Remember my chains. In other words, be prayerful that he gets out of jail. Grace be with you. There's that magical grace be with you saying, Amen. So we got through Colossians chapter 4. That's the end of, the, of Colossians. I think we're going to do Philippians next. Grace be with you. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment if you watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.